Hi everyone, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Olya and today I wanted to film a vocabulary video for you. Today is going to be about airport, but if you are going to Ukraine, please do not panic uh, because uh, an airport in Ukraine is more or less English-speaking environment. So at least all the names of the places, departments, terminals and uh, whatever you might need is in English. But what if something happens and you are, I don't know, lost or cannot find something or uh, there is no English speaker beside you? That's when you might need some essential uh, phrases or vocabulary in Ukrainian. And first of all, let me say that many um, words in English and in Ukrainian in this topic would be very alike. For example, the word airport means aeroport, aeroport, aeroport. So I think you would go with airport as well, everybody will understand you, but just in case, aeroport. Uh, when it, the plane is litak, litak. It comes from Ukrainian uh, verb to fly, litate, okay, litate, to fly, so litak is something that flies, the thing that flies, a plane. A flight means, a flight means race, race, race. A ticket, kvetok, kvetok, kvetok. Pilot, 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 pilot. A flight attendant. Uh, the word for flight attendant, this is the correct way to say it, is bord providnik. Bord providnik, a complicated one to say. So, but um, very commonly we use uh, the word stewardessa, uh, which is um, another word for flight attendant, and it is only used for females. But when we have, uh, because we know that mostly the girls are taking this uh, position, but if we have a male flight attendant, then do not hesitate to use board providnik to name him. Okay, flight number, nomer reisu. We figure that reis is, stands for flight, so nomer reisu, number of flight, flight number. Boarding pass, posadkovi talon, posadkovi talon. Passport, passport, passport another very similar word. And the word for document is document, document, document. Okay, now let's go to baggage. Baggage means bahash. Also, it sounds very similar, baggage, bahash. The one that we are carrying, the carry-on bag that we can have with ourselves on the plane uh, is called ruchna poklaja. Ruchna poklaja uh, comes from uh, ruka, hand, ruchna, basically the things that we can carry with our hands. Makes sense, right? Okay, uh, then what you can bring with yourself? A bag. So a bag is called sumka. Then uh, a suitcase. Uh, valiza. Valiza. Baggage is bagage and if we have many suitcases or many bags so we cannot carry it, we might need a cart for them. So baggage cart uh, would be bagažný uh, vizok. Bagažný vizok. Departure. Vidpravlenja. 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 Take off. Zlit. Landing. Posadka. Zlit. Posadka. Zlit. Posadka. Arrival. Prebutnya. Arrival. Terminal building uh, is budivlya terminalu. So terminal is terminal, another word very similar to English. For check-in we use the word registration, which is registracija. So check-in, registracija as in regi registration, register and so on. Uh, now you might need uh, passport control, pasportny control. Uh, passport is for passport. When you want to make it a uh, an adjective, you add ne. Passport ne control. Passport ne control. Customs office mitnitsa. Mitnitsa. Customs office. And now to the unpleasant part of every trip. Trip, by the way, is podoros. Podoros. It comes from the verb 
Podorozhovati, which means traveling. Um, okay, so to the unpleasant part. Lost and found. Bюро знахідок. Lost and found. Bюро знахідок. Bюро знахідок. Знахідка is basically something that has been found. Comes from the verb знаходити, to find. Lost baggage is загублений багаж or втрачений багаж. Lost baggage, загублений багаж. Загублений is basically when you lost something and you cannot find it. But it's, it's somewhere here, you cannot find it. Втрачений багаж is when, you something, when something is lost and you basically don't see the way of getting it back. And also when you get out of the plane, you might need to exchange your, your money. So currency exchange or money exchange would be obmin valut. Obmin valut. It is literally translated as uh, currency exchange. Valuta is currency, exchange means obmin. And uh, ATM is ATM, bankomat, bankomat. And depending on how you want to leave the airport, you might want to take a bus or a car for rental. Uh, so the bus stop is автобусна зупинка. Автобус is bus, зупинка is stop. Автобусна зупинка, автобусна зупинка. And uh, the car rental is uh, оренда автомобілів or uh, прокат автомобілів. Прокат автомобілів, rather, I think they would rather use прокат, прокат автомобілів. So now that we have dealt more or less with the vocabulary, let's go and try and make some phrases. So whenever you want to say, I need something, whatever you is it that you need, you say мені потрібно, no matter what gender you are, мені потрібно, I need. Uh, for example, I need to book a ticket to blah, blah, blah. To London, for example. So, мені потрібно to book, забронювати or замовити, to order, right? We can use order. We, we order tickets here in Ukraine. So, I need to order a ticket or to book a ticket to London. Мені потрібно замовити квиток, the ticket, квиток, до Лондона. Мені потрібно замовити квиток до Лондона. When you are a very polite person and you don't go around telling people about what you need, you might say, I'd like to do something or to have something. I'd like to uh, means я б хотів. If you're a male, я б хотіла. If you're a female, я б хотів, я б хотіла. So again, if you want to order the ticket, but to say it in a more polite way, you would say я б хотів or я б хотіла замовити квиток до Лондона. I would like to order or to book a ticket to London. Some verbs that might be useful for you too is to cancel. Uh, it means uh, скасувати. And to change means змінити. So I'd like to cancel. So I'd like to cancel my reservation or I'd like to uh, change or I need to change my reservation. So я б хотів, хотіла скасувати. Своє замовлення. I would like to cancel my reservation. Мені потрібно змінити своє замовлення. I need to change my reservation. Мені потрібно змінити своє замовлення. Скасувати cancel, змінити change. If you are wondering if something is existing or if something is available, you will ask, is there a flight, for example, to, to Moscow? Чи є рейс? До Москви. Чи є рейс до Москви? Москва is Moscow. До Москви. To Moscow. Uh, is there a flight to London? Чи є рейс до Москви? Is there a car rental? Uh, чи є оренда? Чи є тут? Is there? Чи є тут uh, оренда автомобілів? Чи є тут оренда автомобілів? If you want to ask when is something going to happen, you are saying коли. When? Коли. So, for example, when is the next? Next is наступний. When is the next flight to London? Коли наступний um, рейс до Лондона? When is the next uh, flight to Moscow? Коли наступний uh, рейс до Москви? When is the boarding time? Коли посадка? When is the boarding time? Коли посадка? 
Okay, and when you are wondering where is something, you cannot find something, you would ask where is, right? So where is, is the, the um, terminal B. Where is terminal B? Uh, B, sorry. <laughs> where is the customs office? The uh, maintenance and so on. And as you can tell, these phrases can be useful for you, not only for the airport, but for booking tickets or finding places in the train station, in a bus stop, and so on. And if um, airports in Ukraine are more or less English-speaking environment, where things could be easier for you to handle, uh, in a train station on, in, or in a bus station, you might need uh, Ukrainian vocabulary more than that, because not many employees know how to speak English. So I hope that this video was helpful for you if there is anything that I have missed and didn't mention and you need to know how to say, just let me know in the command section, I will respond to you right there. Have a nice day, thank you for your attention and bye-bye.